All right, Pisces, let's get into your reading. Oh, you are at a crossroads. Uh, fork in the road here. I feel like you're trying to decide which way to go. I am seeing 111. Uh, I feel like you are manifesting some kind of a new beginning here. Um, you're being very flexible. Yeah, there's an egg here. You, you want some kind of a new beginning. You are being flexible, though. You're going with the flow. You're not trying to force or push. I'm kind of feeling like you're following your intuition to see which path to choose here. Um, I do have message in a bottle. I feel like you could be receiving a message uh, soon that kind of puts you at a crossroads or you could be sending a message to somebody. Something with communication is going on. All right, let's see. What's your person's overall energy, Pisces? What's going on with your person? Come to the edge. That's Aries energy, but that is getting ready to take a leap of faith, getting ready to uh, make some kind of a move here. I see hearts kind of flying all over the place <laughs> in this card here. What else? What else? To the sea. Yeah, they want to move things into calmer waters here. They could be taking a leap of faith. Um, there, there's movement happening with your person. All right, what is this? Give me one more for Pisces person. If things were like in choppy waters or there was confusion going on, yeah, chaos and conflict, serendipity, yin, and a leg up. All right, yeah. So there could have been chaos and conflict between you and this person, but I feel like they want to put in that work and effort here. Uh, serendipity, they might be seeing signs, synchronicities. Uh, they might be feeling like this is meant to be. And then we have yin. That's that loving, caring, nurturing um compassionate that it's softer it's a softer energy going from chaos and conflict which is that fiery fierce passionate energy um can also be air energy harsh words arguments disputes things like that into more of a loving caring energy so so far so good but let's get into it and see what's going on all right pisces persons current energies and intentions page of swords all right, so either they're watching you online, observing you, seeing what's going on with you. I do feel there is um, a message that's going to come in. So you might get a text or, or something. It's going to be small. It's not going to be this grand, big text or, you know, a, a book. I mean, maybe it could be, but I feel like it's going to be some kind of small communication going on. Oh, there could have been conflict, manipulation, sneaky behavior. And then I have King of Swords, which is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or somebody. It's very air. Chaos and conflict. It's all air. All air. Page of Swords, Seven of Swords, Five of Swords, King of Swords. Um, someone could have been very harsh with their words or said something very cold. Uh, or they cut you off or something like that. Two of Wands, they couldn't make up their mind on something. Uh, so the, I feel like this person was the reason for the chaos and conflict and the choppy waters here. <laughs> Pisces, I feel like this person caused this. All right, let's see. And put you at a crossroads like you didn't know what to do. <laughs> All right, what else? A lot came out. All right. So I have the Empress, Taurus energy. Um, that could be either somebody could be pregnant. It could be a mother figure, a female feminine figure. Um, they could have children with somebody else. Or if this is you, they have children with. I don't know. But there's something toxic kind of going on there or something... It's the devil energy, the shadow side, there's something. Maybe they're still connected or there, there's something going on. Here's your energy, the hanged man. So pulling energy back, getting a change in perspective here. I do feel there was some stress, um, sleepless nights, replaying events, overthinking, analyzing. Uh, somebody pulled their energy back to, to kind of get some clarity about a wish fulfillment and then the star yeah another wish fulfillment nine of cups wish fulfillment the star that's also healing energy aquarius energy again 
I don't know. This this is your person's energy, Pisces, but it is a general reading. When I say your person, it could be you. So feel free to flip-flop and reverse as you see fit, okay? It could be a mix of both of you. I feel like something went down between the two of you. There's something that was a little bit devilish, manipulative, toxic, sneaky that went down here. Let's see what's blocking this connection. What's blocking this connection? What's blocking this? Somebody walked away. Somebody was juggling. I did have justice. That could be a, a divorce, a separation. That's Libra energy. Something to do with a contract, the legal system. Somebody walked away. Now things are kind of being juggled here. Should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I? Weighing the pros and cons. <sighs> the world. All right. Somebody, oh, Pisces. I feel like you want to maybe go in a different direction and you're trying to be flexible with this and keep your cool. This person, I feel, is trying to manipulate, create more chaos and conflicts. If you're not trying to get pregnant, be careful. There could be something sly or slick with maybe getting pregnant, a pregnancy, some, something. That message may not be for everyone, all right? There, there's something... Nine of Cups. It's like this person... Your person is not letting you go, keeping you stuck. And I feel like you're trying to go in a different direction here. You could be asking why. Why is this happening? Why did this have to happen? Why did they say this? Why did they do that? Like you could be researching, watching, observing. All right, what else is blocking this? It's like one person, and this is a wish fulfillment. The other person is like, it's not my wish fulfillment. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, divine flow, divine timing, divinely guided. Here's your energy, the hanged one. Someone needs to change their perspective or get some clarity here and make a decision. So somebody's wearing a blindfold. They're not seeing things clearly. Justice again, Libra energy. Something to do with a contract, court systems, legal systems, things being balanced, things being fair. It's a blockage. It's a blockage. All right, let's see. How does this person truly feel about you, Pisces? Pisces, why are your, your readings are always like... <sighs> like, I swear the devil... <clears throat> always shows up in your readings. Oh. All right. How does this person feel about you? I have the moon, Cancerian energy, but it is in reverse. And the page of wands. Uh, there could be an age difference or a maturity level. I feel like this person really wants to reignite this flame, this spark. I feel like they're, they're not confused. They know that they want you. Oh. Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy with Five of Cups, abandonment, Ten of Wands. That's the carrying that burden around. And the Hanged Man, that's your energy. Pulling your energy back to get some kind of clarity. You might be trying to leave somebody behind and they don't like it. They're feeling abandoned by you or left out in the cold. It's creating a burden for them. This could be you. Maybe they did this and they feel like they abandoned you and created some kind of a burden for you. So it could be flip-flopped and reversed, okay? Take it how it resonates. I have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces showing up here. Double Cancer. 
the wheel. They want to move things forward here, Pisces. They want things to, they want luck to go in their favor. They want to take this leap of faith. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, Knight of Cups. You're going to get a message. You're going to, these are messengers. Knights are messengers. You're going to get a message here. I feel like this person's going to like extend an olive branch or some kind of romantic gesture or offering like, hey, let's go out to lunch or grab a coffee or get a drink or something like that and have some kind of conversation. You might, you might, uh, with the Knight of Pentacles, it's very slow moving, but it's methodical. It's not chaotic. It's not um, impulsive. I feel like you're not going to be very impulsive with this. You're you're really trying to be flexible and think things through. I feel like this person's going to come towards you with like emotions and an apology even. Yeah, they want to get on the same page. Oh, there could have been a third party situation. The lovers, Gemini energy. There could have been an option or a choice here. They could have put you in a third party situation. Hmm. Pisces, what is that going on? It's definitely chaos and conflict up in here. <laughs> Pisces, Pisces. All right, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What is the outcome for Pisces? The sun, Leo energy. All right, so there's some kind of sunshine on some darkness or uh, something coming to light or something really happy happening here for you all right what's gonna happen after some heartache and pain comes happiness all right how why what is this tell me more tell me more potential outcome keep in mind you have free will so do they so it can change all right, all right. So we have judgment, scorpionic energy. That's a judgment call, making a decision. It's a reconciliation, a wake up moment, an aha, or a wake up call, an aha moment. Waiting, three of wands. So waiting to reconcile or waiting for uh, equal give and take, reciprocity, the scales being balanced here. After some heartache and pain, tell me more. There's sadness, loss, regret, remorse, possibly about rejection. Mm -hmm, it's looking good. It's looking good. Uh, I feel like something can be maybe repaired or mended here. Hey, and listen, I'm not here to tell you what to do. Make your own choices, make your own decisions. I'm just telling you what could be. It looks like there's going to be some healing to some kind of heartache and pain and a reconciliation. It might take a little time. Um, there might be a waiting period, something like that. But I feel like it's going to balance out. You may feel rejected or you might reject this person. And planting seeds. What, what, is, what are you doing here, Pisces? What are you doing? What's going on here, Pisces? Planting seeds. Finding some strength, courage, confidence. Uh, the Emperor, Aries energy. Maybe to take control or take back control and do some healing. Maybe you're healing with an Aries, an Emperor. Queen of Wands, Aries again, Aries, Leo, Sag, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, Pisces, I feel like you're actually leaving justice, devil, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You might be leaving a, a commitment or a toxic connection, justice. There could be a divorce here on the table or contract, legal system, justice, Libra energy. What is this? 
having the strength, courage, confidence, bossing up, taking control, taking action towards healing. Queen of Wands, Aries energy. It could be healing with a fire sign or it's like you're you're doing something you feel very passionate about. You're trying to find the strength to heal from something. I feel like there was something really toxic going on, and now you're really trying to find the strength to heal from that. Okay, yep. you're going to stand guard. You're going to be protective of your energy. Walls up, guards up. Holding back. Be something to do with finances whatever this is it is going to go in your favor pisces i do see that happening whatever this is that went down all right all right so two of cups a soulmate connection three of pentacles working together being on the same page building towards the same future Communication. Okay. To clear up confusion. There's going to be confusion here. And then healing. I just can't. I feel like there's two different like situations going on here. The Empress, King of Cups, Scorpionic Energy, Taurus Energy. That fell over this toxicity, this devil energy here. There's, there's something... That could be you, King of Cups. All right, so there could be the Emperor to the Empress here. There could be a divine counterpart, a marriage, something like that going on. All right, all right, all right. You leaving something from the past behind, abandoning that, moving towards long-term commitment here. Family, house, home, marriage. Somebody could be leaving a situation... To come towards you you could be leaving a situation to come towards somebody else that's why it seems like there's like a lot of people involved here um there could be something being abandoned from the past to move towards long-term commitment there is healing here taking place confusions getting cleared up there is a soulmate bond here getting on the same page but it's you may have had options you're going to have victory and success. Whatever you choose, you're going to have stability, all right? Whatever you choose, you're going to have victory and success and emotional fulfillment and long-term commitment, marriage. I mean, these are both tens with victory and success. A lot going on here, Pisces. A lot going on. All right, let's see. Biggest obstacle, whatever, I do see it turning out in your favor. Whatever choice, decision, path that you choose, you're going to have to let me know. There's somebody toxic. There's somebody, could be another water sign with that King of Cups. Could be a, so a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, could be a Libra, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. All right. Obstacles to overcome exhaustion. You need you need a break, Pisces. <laughs> you need to take a break. Get some rest. You're exhausted. Postponement. Things taking too long. People dragging their feet. Putting things off. Politics. There's somebody sneaky in your energy. An innocence. Returning to your innocence. Finding yourself again acceptance forgiveness all of that don't put things off anymore i feel like you need to take action you're you are burnt out though like rest first and then there's something you need to take action on here there's some kind of snake in the grass that's an obstacle here somebody's wearing a false self mask somebody isn't somebody there's someone toxic Manipulative, a snake, causing chaos and conflict here. And by the way, Pisces, for angel numbers, I'm seeing three, 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 
three and one, 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 one. So look up angel numbers 333 3, 3, and 1111, 11, all right? There might be a message there for you. 1111 11 is powerful manifestation number of a new beginning, so that might be happening for you. All right, let's see, marriage. There's a marriage involved here. Legal partnership, commitment, marital bond, societal contract, free will, choices, decision, contact, and act, and act, sorry, <laughs> and action, action cannot be forced. Material world, money, career, status, third dimension, make your mark. Settling, scarcity, insecurity, lack of faith, believe that you deserve the best. Solitude, you might need to go in silence or solitude for a little bit. Clear your energy. Divine timing, patience, perseverance, peace, trust that the divine knows when. And stuck, somebody could be keeping you stuck here. Block, third party, silence, barrier, shift your focus to clear the energy. There's some chaos and conflict going on here, Pisces. I feel like you're going to figure it out, though, and it's going to go in your favor, whatever this is. All right, let's see. What does this person want to say to you, Pisces? I hid behind material things. Look at material world. This person could have been using you for finances or things like that. I knew exactly what I was doing. Manipulation. I regret lying to you because they did. Uh, it's time for me to heal now. That's you. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Yeah, there's something here that you learned. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Yeah. Pisces, Pisces. I know it's probably a little bit like ouch here, but I feel like it's things are going to shift for you. This might be your energy over here, that loving, caring, nurturing energy, that leg up, come to the edge, to the sea, and serendipity. I feel like your luck is about to change. Things are going to start going good for you. All right, uh, let's see, let's pull some letters. So be first, middle, last name, initial, could spell a name, could spell a word of significance, take what resonates, all right. Um, if they have the first, same first and last name initial, feel free to duplicate it because they only have one of each letter. All right, V, W, Y, P, X, J, M, H, S, N, B, Z, K, F, N R. So V W Y P B X J Z F K N S M R H. I also have G E C O T O. <laughs> All right, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, data significance, number of months, days, weeks, years, could be an age, could be an angel number. Place it where you see fit. All right, I have two, four, five, six. Something's going to be progressing for you. Two, four, five, six. So the second, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth of any month, February, April, May, June. Um, could be 26, 25th, 24th, 54, 65, 64, 62, 42, 52, whatever. Place it where you see fit. All right. Zodiac signs could be their sun sign, could be strong placements in their chart, or it could happen during that season, like Pisces season. What do we got? We have Aquarius, Virgo, Libra, and Capricorn. Aquarius, Virgo, Libra, and Capricorn. A lot of signs showed up in this reading, so place it where you see fit. I have pretty much every sign. I have earth, water, air, um, and fire showed up, so it could be anyone, but all right, Pisces, that is what I have for you this week. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video.